Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. We're going to discuss today again chapter 17. This is the chapter of oligopoly. We're going to work on exercises from 6 to 9 of this book of Principles of Economics, 7th edition, Gregory Monk. So the sixth question says, you and a classmate are assigned a project on which you will receive one combined grade. So each it actually it means that it will depend on the work that you will going to make with your partner, right? It's not an individual grade, right? So you each want to receive a good grade. So it's what you want to make. So then, uh, but you also want to avoid hard work, okay? Everybody is lazy, right? So in particular, here is the situation. Uh, so here is the, uh, the matrix of payment that is provided by the book and we need to fill in, right? So we're going to discuss a little bit about that afterwards. So then, first situation. If both of you work hard, you both get an A, which gives each of you 40 units of happiness. Then, if, you, if only one of you works hard, you both get a B which gives each of you 30 units of happiness, right? And then if neither of you works hard, you, would, you both get a D, which gives each of you 10 units of happiness. So how we can start uh, to feel? Just the last one, uh, working hard costs 25 units of happiness. So then first, fill in the, play, in the payoffs in the following decision box. So then first, if I work hard, it means that I have a cost of 25 units, so it's going to be subtracting, right? But then remember, if you get A, because you work hard, you will get an A, which provide you 40 units of happiness. So then if you work, you will receive uh, at that time 40 uh, minus 25, but you will receive that because the other one will work as well, and then both will get A. So then at the end, uh, this should be your payment, right? Then this should be the same situation, um, the same situation to the other one, which is going to be 40, uh, the payment for A, and then minus the uh, cost of 25. Then at the end, this guy will have 15, and the other one, 15 as well. Then, this one, you, you still work, right? Remember, those are the payments of you, because this is your decision. This is kind of your strategy, work or shirk. So then you have work, and then should be 30, because you will get uh, at that time a B, okay, which is going to be only one of your works. This is the situation, the situation of this square, okay, the down left or the left down square, right? So it should be 30 because you get B and then 25 because this is the cost because you already worked hard, okay? So then you receive five as a um, compensation, as a payoff. The other situation is kind of different because you will jerk, it means that you are not going to work hard, okay? So then because you are not going to work hard, you will receive automatically 30 because this is the happiness when you get a B and then you don't have any cost because the other one will make the work for you. Then it should be exactly the same, just like uh, kind of kind of a uh, slide down um, this one is going to be like kind of uh, different is like down the other one is going to be on uh, the on the other side so they should be 30 okay and then the one should be 30 minus 25 5 is exactly the same as we make this one okay then the last one should be when everybody shirks it should be the case that you will get 10 units because you get a d and because you don't make make any effort you will have minus zero so it should be 10 and 10 okay so this is the payoffs uh, of that game okay here we have your decision and the other one your classmates decision then what is the likely outcome explain your answer then 
we already have this one this is the our metrics of, of payments then we can start to make our analysis as the previous videos with the Nash equilibrium so imagine we're going to start to analyze with the classmate decision imagine so this is we are uh, the classmates decision mind right so okay if the if your decision is going to be work the other guy will say okay what I prefer I prefer that time work or shirk okay I would rather shirk because I prefer 30 instead of 15 so this should be underlined then move to the other column if the other one so it means me your decision is going to make shirk what should I do should I work or should I shirk well I get more shirking so that should be better shirk so then this should be the decision automatically you understand that um, the classmates decision so the classmate uh, he or she has a dominant strategy dominant strategy means something that you every time you move uh, um, so without so regardless the other movement so in that case it doesn't matter if the your decision should is gonna be work or shirk classmate will every time shirk then let's try to analyze the scenario of your decision imagine that the other one um, so the classmate decision is work so then what I prefer I, uh, at that time I prefer work or shirk I would say shirk okay should be better and then if the other one shirk what it should be better uh, work or shirk 5 instead of 10 well I would say 10 instead of 5 so then automatically when we have two out like two outputs or two the yeah, two outcomes um, underlined this should be the Nash equilibrium and furthermore we can analyze that because this is a sustainable equilibrium it's a place where no one wants to move imagine that we are here so we already have 10 if we move because we are in your decision so it should be at that time um, so at that time I'm sorry you're, you're shirking so at that time you will receive five so you don't have any incentive to move from shirk to work the other guy who's going to shirk um, again the, he, this guy will prefer at that time to stay there because otherwise if you start working um, at that time you should receive five so at that time for this reason this is the likely outcome okay so I guess that you already got that got that idea so then if you get this classmate as your partner on a series of projects throughout the year rather than only once is what we call like kind of repetitive games uh, how might that change the outcome you predicted in part B this is so nice because uh, we already predicted that this should be the Nash equilibrium but if you start to shirk from the very beginning you will receive 10 but if you say okay if we work uh, we are going to receive more payments or more kind of happiness better grades so then likely this uh, Nash equilibrium in repetitive games can be changed so, so can change uh, I mean because that time they will try to cooperate then when both try to cooperate they will try to move to that payment when everybody works because in a repetitive games they will receive this better outcome okay so, so then the last one of these six point another classmate cares more about good grades she gets 50 units of happiness for a B so then we already have this one okay let's try to move this one okay so you you're going to start uh, you're going to have still 15 right but the other one should be 80 okay so that time another cosmic cares more about uh, good grades she gets 50 units of happiness for a B 80 units of happiness for an A if this classmate were your partner but your preferences were unchanged how would your answers to par A and B change which of two classmates would you prefer as a partner would she also want your partner so then I, I guess that I did something wrong because I didn't put the effort I guess that the other person even she receives better 
uh, output because she receives a, 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 a grade A. I guess that that time any uh, anyway she she will have an F4. So I would say that this one should be minus 25. Okay, so then it should be 50. Five, right should be better 55 then the other one should be 25 uh, your classmate because at that time okay should be um, should be a B unit right so it should be 50 minus 25 should be 25 because that time should be work but uh, she will get a B which is 50 units okay um, then it should be 10 uh, done because she doesn't make any effort um, and she will receive 10. It doesn't say like anything regarding D, but we would say that both are the same with this grade. Uh, then the other one should be 5 and 30 as the previous one. And the other one should be 50 because shirk, so she doesn't make any effort. Uh, and then um, any anyway she will receive a B grade so then let's start the comparison so then if that time we will say at that time we're going to start to analyze so then if the other person shirk okay the classmate what should I choose work or shirk they should be better shirk right I will receive 10 okay then the idea here is like then when the other one work what I sh what should I do work or shirk should be better shirk because I received 30 okay so these remain exactly the same as the previous one let's analyze the other side what about this one if the other person shirk so I mean your decision so what the classmate decision is going to be actually it's going to be between work and shirk when the other one shirk it means your decision so it should be 25 should be work so automatically we realized that it changed from this one because she really cares about grades and actually she doesn't care too much if the other um, the, the other doesn't put any effort she will prefer work because the output should be 25 higher than 10 then this one 80 which which is actually 20 uh, 55 is going to be higher than 50 so then this should be the the decision okay so at that time you will realize that it's a still a dominant strategy for classmate decision but instead of shirking from the previous classmate this person will work every time so then the final the equilibrium should be work for the classmate decision and shirk for your decision so then which of the two classmates would you prefer as a partner obviously i prefer i prefer the person who is more interested on the on the grades because I will receive 30 in a stance of 10 I does it doesn't matter if I'm not going to make anything as the previous one but I'll receive more because the other person put more effort and we will get a B instead of a D in in the um, in the um, Nash equilibrium but would she also want you as a partner obviously not because she will work and the other one will jerk so definitely this person um this this person will not like can want want you as a partner okay that's the difference between both then uh this one actually yes this is this one oh, let me see okay i guess that is still the same right so actually uh, i will i will have incentives to shirk uh and actually even if the play is for more time i prefer all the time just shirk because because i start to play like all the time work uh, i will have like 15 so definitely should be better shirk all the time okay just in case yes because all the time the other person will prefer to work okay so for this this is like the main reason then a case study in the chapter describes a phone conversation between the presidents of American Airlines and Brannis Airways let's analyze the game between the two companies 
Suppose that each company can charge either a high price for tickets or a low price. If one company charges 300, it earns low profit. If the other company also charges 300 and high profit, and high profit if the other company charges 600. Okay, let's start to analyze here before continue reading because it should be kind of a little bit more clear. So here we have the first question, draw a decision box for this game. The first, we need to identify the players. So we have two players, the presidents, and we are going to la label them as AA, American Airlines, and BA, Braniff Airways. Then the strategies, the presidents, they can move on high or low price. Then we have a matrix of payments two times two. Then we have on the in the uh, in the upside we have the AA's decision and we have the, the other one the PA's decision. So both they have high high price. They have high price the other one the other president and then low price and low price. Then the first one. Uh, here we have so if one company charges three hundred it earns low profit if the other company also charges 300 because it's low price and high price we identify 300 as a low price so we are here when we're both we have low profit okay this is the situation both low profit because both launches the the prices the tickets to to low price okay then uh, here we have 300 a high profit if the other company charges 600 so here we have high profit okay if that if that's the case right and then the other one should be high profit when i have a high price and low price and then it earns very low profit if the other company charges 300 and medium company media profit if the company also charges 600 okay so then at that time should be this one medium profit okay if both charges high price so then the other one should have low price and the other one high price then this this one should have very low profit okay the one who makes high price and here the opposite if BA's decision is a high price he will get a very low profit and low well, low price the um, low price uh, for AA's decision will bring high profit okay this is given because if the other one moves with a with a high price then the other one will capture more market so then should be like high profit in the time when the other makes like a high price okay and then medium profit if other company charges 600 okay so this is the map this box for this game okay then uh what is the nash equilibrium this game explain okay let's just start to analyze so then we're going to start here from ba's decision if AA will move to high price, what should be better, medium or high profit? Obviously, high profit. So for this reason, decision of BA should be high profit, so it means low price. Then when the other one moves, low price, what should be better, very low profit or low profit? Should be better, low profit. Let's move with the other one. If BA moves with HP, AS decision should be better, high price or low price? They should be better medium or high profit. They should be better high profit. Then the other one, when the BA's decision is low price, what should be better? High price, low price. It means very low profit or low profit. Should be better low profit. So then this should be the Nash equilibrium where no one, neither EAA, American Airlines, and the other airline, uh, BA, wants to move because this is, they don't have any incentives to move so this should be the Nash equilibrium Nash equilibrium low profit and low profit is, is there an outcome that would be better than the Nash equilibrium for both airlines how could it be a shift who would lose if it were a shift so here is the the case we already realized that it should be definitely better they should be definitely better medium profit medium profit right um, they, they will be better because they will have more profit who should be worse should be worse the consumers 
Why? Because they will pay they will pay a high price instead of a low price. It will reduce the quantity of consumers and immediately it will affect the consumer surplus. Remember, anytime the price goes up, uh, the transactions in the market will produce and then consumers will consume less so they will be affected so for this reason this should be the problem for that situation then the eighth point two athletes uh, of equal ability are competing for a price of 10,000 each is deciding whether to take a dangerous performance enhancing drug if one athlete takes the drug and the other one does not the one who takes the drug wins the prize so this person win the uh, 10,000 if both or neither take the drug they tie and split the prize taking the drug imposes health risks that are equivalent to a loss of X dollars so here's fair first draw a 2 times 2 payoff matrix describing the decision the athletes face then we have two players athletes uh, athlete one and athlete two the strategy you can take or you cannot take the drug and then should be again two times two then we have athlete one here and here we have athlete two then they have two decisions no drugs or drugs here so then we start to to fill this one so here I still it doesn't appear still but it's going to be drug uh, drugs and not drugs so here you will have this is really important to understand that it's I, I know that after seeing that is easy but maybe at the very beginning is not immediate so here we have the payment should be 5,000 okay because mm, in this one and uh, they will they will tie because they have equal ability okay so assuming that both they have exactly the same ability when they take even drugs they they both will have the price split okay so it should be five thousand each one but in this case it's important to clarify that you have a cost right because you will consume drug and it's going to make something uh, kind of um uh, a, a, an issue to your health so for this for this reason for this hazard it should be minus X which is the cost uh, or the loss of dollars or the health risk measure in X dollars then we have the other case when the guy that get the drug naturally is going to be better than the guy that is not going to take the drugs so for this reason the guy who is going to take the drug let's call him like drug addict <laughs> so this 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 guy will get the price 10,000 minus the the cost which should be X the other one is going to be naturally zero because this person uh, first this person doesn't take the drug and furthermore he will not receive anything of the price then this one should be the other case where when both uh, tie ties but no one takes drugs right so because of that they will receive the, all the price without any harm without any problem right and the other one should be exactly the same as this one just like we change the the payments okay so this case the guy who takes drugs is going to be a athlete one which is going to be this one instead of the other one with that will receive zero okay then for what X is taking the drug the Nash equilibrium we can make a, here a little bit mathematically but I prefer to make this one more intuitive okay okay so this one should be again the box we have here automatically you understand that in order to make uh taking the drug the Nash equilibrium so it means this is square we need to make two things first that this guy athlete 2 prefers 5000 minus X higher than zero right and we want to make or we have to make the second situation where athlete 1 uh, where athlete 2 takes drugs athlete 1 will prefer drugs instead of not drugs so it means 5000 minus X 
higher than zero exactly the same situation of the other one so then for this case this should be higher than zero definitely x should be lower than 5000 just if x is equal to 4999 this should be one and one should be higher than zero one should be higher than zero and the Nash equilibrium should be drugs and drugs so let's make uh, an example of for example x6000 if you have x6000 then automatically you realize here that for example this guy athlete 2 have has that situation when athlete 1 um, with this one athlete 1 when athlete 2 chooses no drugs should be better for athlete 1 uh, at that time should be better definitely um, this one okay let's analyze sorry I mean I mean like kind of mistake so here's the athlete 2 so then athlete 1 is going to take no drugs so what should be better 5,000 or 4,000 should be better naturally 5,000 then this one what do you, you prefer minus 1,000 or 0 should be definitely better 0 so then you will have now a dominant strategy no drugs and the other way exactly the same when this one athlete 2 chooses no drugs should be better for a1 4,000 or 5,000 5,000 and then for the other one should be better 0 or minus 1,000 should be better 0 so then this case they prefer no drugs so for this reason X cannot be higher than 5,000 should be actually a strictly uh, lower than um, 5,000 this should be the solution Okay, then does making the drug safer, that is lowering X, make the athletes better or was off explain? This is really interesting because uh, I, I realized two situations. First, we have this one. So then, they will be better off. Why? Because when this is lower than, than 5,000, so when this is closer, when this is closer to zero, right, your payment okay your payment should be definitely uh, closer to the situation of cooperative right because for example if X is really low just one you will receive four thousand nine hundred ninety nine compared with the five thousand obviously it's better this situation but it's pretty close so this is the first situation but I analyzed that the if X is higher enough as we saw in the previous exercise, for example, for x higher than 5,000, then, then you will prefer no drugs. So, so that's my point. So first, you have one situation, definitely they will be better off. That's right. But if x is higher than 5,000, athletes will reach the maximum benefits that should be 5,000. So it depends how you can explain your answer because e absolutely when the x is higher um, I'm sorry with the hey x is lower at that time you will receive a better payment for drugs drugs right but if x is is like high enough it means higher than 5,000 automatically this should be not more a Nash equilibrium so then should be better no drugs no drugs so for this situation both should be for me like kind of the answer then uh, the last one Little Kona is a small coffee company that is considering entering a market dominated by Big Brew. Each company's prof profit depends on whether Little Kona enters and whether Big Brew sets a high price or, or a low price. So here we have the situation as usual of the other one. That case is kind of different because we receive already the outputs and it's not like a lump sum uh, zero game. What does it mean? A lump sum zero game, it means that the, the payment from one in the opposite situation is exactly the same is they they are kind of compensated so it means this for example you have high price high price or high price and enter and you have both the same 
uh, then should be like kind of lump sum zero and low price when you have the opposite so for example low price and enter this is exactly the same here just just change the values of the players so this is a lamp zero game what, what we are used to to see this is different because we have here a three two zero seven one one and two zero so this is an alarm sum zero game right so then we have here big brew they have two strategies high price or low price and here little Kona they have a different strategy because this is small and she's he it's planning to enter or don't enter this is like the two decision if big brew establishes a high price the other one and enter so Kona will make two millions and the other one three million she will be exactly the same the output of payments of the other one so for example if it's low price and don't enter big brew will get two um this one should get zero okay so then uh, the first question says, does either player in this game have a dominant strategy? Let's start with Big Brew. So then, if Little Kona enters, so we are here, so what should be better for Big Brew? High price or view or low price? It means 3 or 1. Should be better 3. So they should be better high price. Then, if Little Kona uh, don't enter, so here, what should be better? Uh, high price or low price? 7 or 2? Definitely should be better 7. So then should be high price. When depend, I mean, regardless the other's movement, you exactly chooses, ex you, you choose exactly the same. It means because you have that as a dominant strategy. So this should be dominant strategy. The, the, uh, the high price for Big Brew. Then analyze Little Kana. So Little Kana, when, um, Big Brew establishes a high price, what should be better? Kona, uh, enter or don't enter? Should be better 2 million or 0? Should be better enter, right? Then, when the other one chooses uh, loop low price, what should be better? 1 or 0? Should be better enter. Um, I'm sorry here, uh, let me see here yes sorry it will not enter because it loses right so they should be better make zero instead of losses right so then you have one enter and the other one not enter so because you didn't have the same strategy regarding the other movement you will say that you didn't have a dominant strategy so at that time we can uh, say that definitely uh, at that time uh, let me see here at that time they don't have like um, so the answer should be big brew high price and the other one no dominant strategy okay then the other question the B does your answer to part A helps you figure out what the other player should do what is the Nash cleaver is there only one that's true because we already have that any uh, regardless the movement of little Kona big brew will choose every time high price the other one little kind of no dominant strategy because one she he will move or it will move enter and the other one don't enter so then let's start here so then uh, first here if this one move high price what should be better two or zero two right then what should be better uh, three or one should be better three when the other one enter then here what should be better losses of one or zero should be better zero and this one should be better what uh, high price or low price when the other one move dot enter should be better seven so here this is obviously this can help this can help us to identify the Nash equilibrium so then brew makes three and the other one should be make two then big brew threatens little kind of by saying if you enter we're going to set you a low price you so you had better stay out. Do you think little Kana should believe the threat? Why or why not? Obviously, at that time, no. Why? Because Big Brew would rather choose a uh, high price. Because if they choose low price, they will have 1 million okay of profits instead of three million so they will prefer absolutely that i enter into the market or little can i enter into the market so definitely this is not a this is a threat that you can't believe okay then uh if the two firms could collude and agree on how to split the total profit what outcome should they pick? okay uh this one if they can collude, they can say, okay, we are going to select. So Big Brew and, and Little Kana, they will select high price 
and then it should be better here um, definitely um, this one we should be um, uh, don't enter so then this should be the the collude why because they will split the total profits here the total profit is five but here the total profit is seven here is two and here is zero so this is the better situation when they can collude so then the the first should be like big brew will get seven and the other one zero but because both split the profit both will get 3.5 and 3.5 we should be definitely better than this situation okay so i guess that was all for this video uh i hope that i wasn't like really mis uh, like kind of confuse you kind of be because sometimes uh, I guess that it's not like really straightforward that's all that's my opinion if you have like better solution other things that maybe I didn't see throughout this video I really appreciate okay thank you so much for watching that video and see you the next time okay bye bye